Hello friends, this is Rakesh here. So today uh, I'm gonna attempt to install a uh, RV backup camera uh, on my Class C motorhome, uh, which is a Winnebago. Uh, it's an older motorhome with no inbuilt camera. Um, so I wanna retrofit this uh, wireless camera because I didn't want to deal with the wiring and all, um, which could potentially break over time. So I just bought, um, bought a, a Lee Kolu uh, camera, which has got quite a good review on um, Amazon. Very good reviews actually. And uh, I've got a, uh, a camera that has a, a longer range. Um, it's got uh, about 45 feet and my motorhome is 31 feet. So make sure when you buy a wireless camera that it is uh, actually rated for that uh, length. So um, this is the monitor um, and uh, it connects to the cigarette lighter. Yeah, it connects to the cigarette lighter on your dash, right? And then this is the, the camera, which is wireless camera. And I've, I'm trying to uh, attempt to connect it to the um, the rear uh, brake light or the, um, you know, the, the lights that light up during night so, so that I can um, see the behind of the RV all the time rather than just when the, um, you know, when I'm reversing. So, um, let me take you back to the um, the camera. Oh, sorry. Let me take you uh, to the back of the motorhome, and I have actually um, disconnected the lid of one of the the lights, um, and I checked that it's got uh, 12 volt. Um, so that's where I'm gonna attempt to install this camera. Uh, and hopefully, you know, everything will work. Uh, I'm gonna route the wires through there, right? And then um, hide the wires behind that uh, once I pull it off. So we'll show you when I take it off, okay? So I wanted, wanted to show you real quick um, how this uh, assembly looks here, the light assembly where, which I'm gonna disassemble and uh, install the, uh, the camera. So I see the there are two screws um, here, which I'm gonna unscrew. And you know this lid was just snapped on uh, like this. So I used a, a screwdriver to pry it out, and it came off like that. Super easy, right? And uh, this is gonna be a sacrificial light because I'm not gonna be using this light um, because you know the camera is going to be uh, mounted most probably here. Okay. Um, and I'm gonna try to, um, you know, take the screws out. Uh, there was some sealant on it, which I will try to put back once I'm done, so that there's no moisture buildup inside. Um, uh, but, you know, uh, seems like, you know, it's gonna work out, uh, well, because there, there is the 12 volt supply here, constant 12 volt supply, if I turn, keep the, um, all these track lights on. So this is the progress that I've made so far. Uh, I had to cut uh, a piece here with my Dremel tool uh, so that eventually I can shove all the, put all the wires inside and they're not hanging around. Um, so uh, I've connected the wires to the camera. As you can see, camera is sitting on top uh, and I have uh, tested that the screen looks good. Um, so this, this is a good connection because uh, I'll be able to see the rear of my RV all the time than just uh, when I'm reversing. So which is a good thing. I'll have full visibility all the time when I'm riding. Of course, I'll have to keep the track lights on uh, or the headlights on, which I keep on anyway. Um, and now I have to figure out um, how to secure these connections. Um, I'm gonna use two butt connectors um, like these. Like this, I'm gonna put them on top of these and clamp them together so that they don't come loose uh, when there's vibration. And then eventually, I'm gonna shove it all inside this area um, and uh, then screw the camera and put some sealant so there's no moisture uh, built up. So, I'll show you when I have attached the camera again. 
I wanted to show you uh, something very important that I realized. The the wire that came with the camera and the wire uh, where the light bulb was attached prior to I disassembled it. Um, the wires are very thin. So um, I want to have a very secure connection so that, you know, I don't have to do this every now and then or, you know, fix it and take it apart and it's going to be just a mess if I have to do it again. So I actually, um, you can see, I um, applied some solder. Um, I'm not sure if you can see, but um, I have soldered the, the wire together. Um, and then to make it even more secure, um, I actually put a butt connector too, right? So that, you know, the there is a very, very strong connection and there is a very less chance of uh, this coming apart. So um, I hope this will help you as well because, you know, I figured that there's going to be a lot of vibration as this uh, camper, you know, RV moves on the highway at highway speed. So it's very important to have a very, very tight, secure connection so that the um, things are very secure. So here you see um, both the connections have uh, been have been secured with butt connectors, and uh, this looks very secure. Uh, but you know, I still just to add some more security and safety here. Um, I'm gonna tape it up with some electric wire um, just to you know avoid any short circuits. So here is the final uh, assembly here. Um, I actually um, sealed the hole that I cut with Eterna bond tape and uh, I replaced, screwed in uh, the, the existing uh, track light here um, on top of the Eterna bond and screwed it in. Um, it, I will actually seal it uh, with a beta cock, a silicone cock, um, just to have no leaks at all. And then I screwed the, um, the camera on this uh, solid board instead of that of instead of on this plastic here at the top because I, I, I believe that this is stronger than the plastic above and with the vibration of the road and the movement it's not gonna move uh, much so um, here is the final product I think it's pretty uh, solid uh, if I move try to move it it's pretty solid uh, I'll also put a beta cock over these uh, screws so that there's no leak at all because um, you know leak is the enemy of the motorhomes. So I hope this uh, uh, project uh, helps you uh, in some way because you know I uh, had to struggle with some things which I have actually mentioned in this video but I think the outcome is pretty nice so hopefully um, you know somebody benefits from this. Thank you. Oh, I forgot to show you the actual video uh, of the camera. Um, this is the monitor. Uh, it's about seven inches diagonally. And uh, as I said, the brand is a Lee Ko Lu. Uh, I'll put a description, put the model number in the description so that you know you can actually um, order a similar one. Uh, you see the signal here uh, is quite decent. Uh, as I, as mentioned in the as I had mentioned in the beginning that I bought a model that is suitable for motorhomes and truck, and um, this is good for 45 feet or longer, uh, 45 up to 45 feet length, and mine is a 32 uh, give and take. So uh, so far the signal strength is nice. I can actually um, change the uh, the guidelines uh, if I had multiple um, cameras. Some people mount one in the front or one in the, one on the side, couple on the sides, you know, the full timer especially. So it can show you multiple cameras, but I just have one. Uh, and as you can see, it shows you the guidelines as well. And good thing is these guidelines are actually tweakable, which I like. Um, the reason being is, um, you know, the, it, the guideline depend on where you mount and it's not static right so uh, different people mount or prefer different angles um, and the grid lines here you know as you can see I can press these these buttons at the bottom you know and adjust it according to the angle that I have set for my camera 
uh, this actually uh, will help me a lot because you know I can right now the way I have I want it right here you know here right because um, you know this is giving me it's actually telling me that you know if I back up where the rear of the the vehicle is going to be um, so I think this is a very neat feature um, and signal is pretty nice and stable. I don't know. I haven't driven it on the highway yet. Uh, some people claim that on the highway speed there's some interference, but you know, given the model, given that this is a longer, uh, this version, this model number of the camera uh, supports uh, vehicles up to 45 feet long. I don't see um, that. I, I don't expect problem. But if there are, then I'll have to see if I can have a better antenna or something. So, here you go. Thank you for watching.